are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like... like your brother. Brother? Sister? We look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> wrong. This is all wrong. Wait! Stop! Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project, I was her child. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that, fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. 
They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word, was. But we need to go by the store anyway, to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this, but you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. Sounds good to me. Ollie's Diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Not a bad view, right? I forgot how beautiful it is. We were in our own world most of the time. The lake wasn't just a lake. It was Moonhag's lair. And the mountain was an ice troll. True. Plus, you get used to anything if you see it every day. Not always. I think I'd like to end up somewhere like this. Just not here. Somewhere with more trees than people? Exactly. Just go into it with a little more of a plan than Marianne did. Already working on it. With my degree, it'll be easy to get a job as a ranger. After you spend a little time in Juno? Uh, still a maybe on that one. Nice ring. Gift from your boyfriend? Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. He had them both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one Eddie had made for you. You know, twins rings. Something like that. Oh. Um... That's a little weird, but also kinda cool. I've still got it. Right here in my pocket. <sighs> nice try. But... Not today. Maybe another time, though. If you squint, you can almost forget Tello's crossing's only a few miles away. I'm sure Marianne tried to. Can't blame her. We're headed there for supplies later. You ready for that? Yeah, but I was really enjoying a day without assholes. Just a little longer, and every day will be asshole-free. That might be asking a lot. Uh, all right. I think that's enough time enjoying the view. I wasn't going to say anything, but... Yeah, yeah, I know. I was the one all eager to go, and then I started waxing poetic about the landscape. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh -huh. My sister, the social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. Uh, what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler, my brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about that, but I never. Damn, you look like a real man. 
so do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. You know, I'm just trying to be me. It's just who I am. Hmm. Well, I've seen a couple of lady transvestites on the TV before, but, uh, I've never seen a dude. Sam, that's not how you say that. Say what? Transvestites? Yes. It's transgender. Transgender men. Uh, I'm sorry. It's hard to keep track out here in Delos Crossing. <laughs> the world's just moving on without us. It's fine. Let's just change the subject. <laughs> Works for me. Tyler. Thanks, Sam. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh... I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, and you know, all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. Uh... This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? Allie, can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um... Everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh. All right. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. <sighs> Not me. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Nah. We're all done with fairy tales. No. After what you two been through, makes sense. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? He 
he's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so... All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam? We all gotta get going. Oh. Uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh... uh mm. This place, it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like you know, it was a part of her, and, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. <sighs> I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24 seven, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. 
We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Um, Michael is moving to Juno, too. We were thinking of being roommates. Oh. Okay. Thinking about it? You better not be backing out on me. The only thing that gets me up some mornings is marking one more day off the calendar. <laughs> Don't worry, she won't. We'll get the house sold, and you guys can move on. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up, I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool, most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two, bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. The future mayor of Delos Crossing. Tom Vecchi? Yep. Is it really that big of a shock? He owns the only store in Delos Crossing, and he's chummy with the old boys club. Uh, I guess. He never really struck me as having ideas. And he's not exactly charismatic. I want to have the crispy tocino and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Tessa's cooking. Does she still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made Hey, Ollie! Look! I'm the ruler of this kingdom! Get it? Cause it's a dome? <laughs> You're gonna fall, stupid. That was funny. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Weren't they talking about demolishing this playground? Yeah. Tourists complained it wasn't safe. Babies. The playground should be ground zero for natural selection. <laughs> yep. Unfortunately, Delos Crossing is too cheap to replace it. Should we go inside or stand around until we become human popsicles? Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just did... Didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less, we've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh... I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. 
I assume being there feels complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. You think you can take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't gonna share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. Let's see, fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, mm. plain candles are fine. That huge. Hey Tyler, candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Sugar rush it is. That really is one enormous pumpkin. So, uh, what kind of lure? Hey, Tom, would you use when'd you get that new California well, plate? It's hard to beat little Cleos, but depends on conditions. Wait, is this a pop quiz? They sent you their license plate? I had to be sure. What? You think I'm like catfishing you? Well, can you blame me? So, by pulled strings, you mean you gave Eddie a discount on those new waiters? No, no I cannot. Hey, Tyler, remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. It was a 12-pounder. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend enough. I'll take the strong one. Damn, those life jackets are snazzy. Uh, yeah. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. I'm grabbing some water. You do you, girl. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Allison, I'm waiting. Let's pay for the groceries. Athletic, graceful, and spirited. Sounds like you. Sorry, I might be movie star handsome, but I can't act for shit. Hmm. I should write down their info for after the move. Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. 
plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Guys, all done then? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, uh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam. Tessa, that's all work. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your dad? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call out my version. Okay. Okay. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, oh, no, no, thanks. I'm good. Good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. What's this doing here? Anyone else in this fucking town? 
I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food? I give you the fuel. Maybe you are not. But the kids are my children. Test has that. Mine. Not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go to my eyes. Fine. Fine. Okay. okay. You two, two, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. 
Yo, yo, should we check this one out? Free she could be. Yeah, yeah. What, what the, the hell, hell happened? Do you think there are more memories lurking around? I don't, I don't know. know. Let's see. The kids keep pestering me for these candies. They're, They're so, so expensive. expensive. Don't, don't just grab the bag. It's fine. Oh no. I, I can't, Tessa. It, it's nothing. Okay. But, but write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay, whatever you want. There, happy? Y yes. And, and I will be by on Wednesday to help you close. And like I promised. Tessa, I feel like she was Marianne to mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self righteous and treated Marianne to a charity case. She, she was trying to help. We should go find that notebook she was holding. I'm pretty sure I saw one from 2004 in the office closet earlier. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help to store. I, I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, no. I just had a day, okay? I, I took a pill. I'm, I'm fine. Mary Ann. I said I'm fine. Get, get, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I, I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this, this confusion. I, I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that pamphlet was that it gave to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. Is this just true? I want to know how Mary Ann felt about it. We, we need to hit Tessa. Uh, uh, Tessa? Is, is it okay if I run a quick Google search? I, my phone's dead. Oh, sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Wait, wait, what? Is that, Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how you... Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? started flaking on her dead in October 2004. Five months before that night. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. Is there something I can do for you? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes, what a lucky coincidence. We're back, with details that should help your memory. 
Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Um... I... T Look, your mother was in a bad place. It was clear she was... Coming apart at the seams. She told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. Your answer to my mother's bad moods was to send me to conversion therapy? It's what I thought would help both of you at the time. Tyler, it was worse than bad moods. She was not well. Not well at all. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? I do. Now. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? She was more than that. She loved you. Listen. I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. We'll get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. Can we grab our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. What are you thinking? Just uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. Yeah. And Marianne, she had my back. It, it really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She still tried to kill me. But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge, it, it feels good, Allison. Hey, look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. <sighs> You're speaking my language. What? Sorry, I'm just thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. 